Okay. Anybody there apart from me? Let's get going, shall we? Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy, and creative. Stay home and craft. And we're going, well, we're still in Camelot, aren't we? We're on our bus to Camelot. Actually, I was going to take a little detour today. I think you'll enjoy this little detour. It's sort of in keeping with Camelot, but uh, it's a time machine thing. And um, I think you'll enjoy it. I just want to make sure that everybody's there. So Paul is in the building with you. And, uh, and my hope is that the sound is good. So I've come in a couple of minutes early. And uh, as soon as I hear from anybody that it's working, then we can crack on. Because at the moment, here we are. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have your company. Is the sound? Sound is good. Thank you, Paul. Okay, we're off and running and we're in Camelot. So a couple of minutes just for the, the cream to soak in. I've been doing pottery at the weekend, so my hands are like sandpaper. It's all good though. It's all good. Pottery, lino cutting. I am choices, 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 eh? Ah, uh, it's lovely to have your company. Come on in, I can see you all now. Right, I think you're going to enjoy this one. Should I have a little recap? Oh, come on, let's have a cup of tea first. Let's get everyone in the building first and settled. Did you have a good weekend? It was rubbish weather. It rained and then it, it was overcast, it was cold. Yeah, great weather for crafting though, eh? Yeah. Ah, nectar. Right, so where were we? Where were we? The last time we got together, we were in Camelot. Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember this time last week? We embarked on drawing horses. And I was well impressed with your horses. So let's have a little recap and then we'll go, we'll take a little detour. There's a there's a sharp left up the end here, and I wanna I definitely wanna go go down that little road. Right, you ready? Cool, they're filthy. <laughs> filthy, absolutely filthy. That's better. Right, come on. Tracing paper. Let's have a look where we were and what we're doing. Ah, yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember last week? We, <laughs> we're making a tapestry. And let's have a look. There's the, there's the original one. There's, the, there's our, our guidelines. Yeah, look. We've got, I've got bits of paper everywhere here. So we... Excuse me. One minute. There we go, that's clearer now. Now you can see. So we did the jousters, didn't we? Do you remember when I had that little epiphany with the Lance, Sir Lancelot? <laughs> How did I not realize that? Right, so we had Sir Lancelot, we had a right laugh a lot on those two. Uh, we haven't finished with them, but we got the shapes in, didn't we? And then we did the, um, the, the curtains, <laughs> the drapes. And then we did the people, which came out exceptionally well. I really enjoyed the people with their little noses, how to draw faces. Now, while we're here, today we're going to look at the banners. You see, we're going to go to the, the marquee and we're going to go for the banners. Wafting in the wind, the flags. Okay. Yes. But I thought... Because I don't know about you, I was always drawing these as a kid. This was my doodle, my doodle obsession down the margins in the history lesson. I used to drive the teacher potty. And I thought, right, let's have a little, because it's Monday. Right, let me put this to one side. Because it's Monday, I thought, let's have a little warm up session. Yeah doing something like this similar but different just to get our eye in before we start on the marquee and the flags, okay? How's that sound? You'll love it. I know you will. It's your, right up your street. It's right up your street. So I thought, yeah, Monday morning, they'll be thinking, oh, no, we've got to do that tent now. <laughs> no, we're not. I can just say it really handy. Right, really? So all you need, all you need is a pencil, HB, that'll do, an HB pencil, a wubber, you definitely want an eraser, an eraser, 
and a piece of tracing paper. Let's do it on tracing paper. Take a bit of tracing paper and fold it in half. All right, hang on, let me put all my, my Camelot stuff to one side. I turned the place, I had a bit of a sort out this weekend. Do you think I could find these two sheets of the Camelot? Oh, that's why we're doing something different because I thought, can't find Camelot. <laughs> Camelots are losing me. So I thought, right, well, we better do something different then. So I came up with something really sharp and then Camelot turned up again. That's all right though. It's all right. It's good. Now, where's my pencil sharpener? Let's get a pencil sharpener there. You've got a good pencil sharpener. Hey, eh? let's have a look. So let's sharpen our pencils. To weapons at the ready. Cool, this is a rubbish one. You all right? I know it's weird at the moment, isn't it? It's so weird. I don't know. It's like it's a blanket of anxiety. But it's okay, because that's out there. And in here, it's all love, right? Love is the answer, isn't it? Let me put them over there. Yes, I couldn't find them. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought, well, there's a solution here. Let's do something different. And we'll, then, then I've got time to find Camelot again or redraw it. And now we're going to do something different. Right, you ready? This is enjoyable. I'm telling you, it's enjoyable. <laughs> Take a piece of tracing paper. Done. It's a warm-up exercise. There you go. Look, I've already done it in half. And fold it in half. So take a bit of tracing paper and then just fold it in half. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> Get a bit of copy paper underneath so you can see what you're doing. Right, okie dokie. Right, tracing paper. Good stuff. Paul's in the building with you. If you have any questions or you need any help, our friend Paul will be happy to oblige. Right, now... Do you remember, is it, I don't know if you did this, I always used to do this. Let me show you, for example, when I was in the class and you used to go, hang on, let me write something. For example, Mary, right? And then when you got to the Y, you'd start going like that. Did you do that? And you could get smaller and you could get bigger. Look, did you do that? All right, so write your name, write whatever your name is, Right? And then when you get to the end, on the last one, do a flourish like that. There you go. Good warm-up. Do Paul. Paul's a good one. See? And then you're off you go. Boom. Lovely. I remember drawing. It was the fastest stamp I ever designed. Have you got the little girl, the calligraphy girl? And it was just the dress. And it started out like that, if I remember rightly. You go like that, and then it went to the waist, and then it went to the body, like that. There you go, and then I put two sleeves on it. <laughs> there you go, dress. <laughs> put two legs, boom, she's got feet. <laughs> How to kill it, look. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It went from art to mixed media in one step. <laughs> look at her pantoffle, and she's got her old slippers on. But this is quite a nice, I love this, yeah, it's good. So now you've got your eye in, turning over, what we'll do is, are you up for this? Come on, this will be fun. It's sort of Camelotty. <laughs> right, come on, let's have a sip. Are you ready? Is everybody in the building? Are you ready to rock and roll? Have you got your tracing paper? Have you got your pencil? Have you got your cup of tea? That's all you need. Oh, and a ruler. Ah, nectar. Okay. Get a ruler, Pergamano ruler, centimetres or an inch ruler, whatever. And what we're going to do is make a border, I'll show you, just to give us a little bit of orientation. Otherwise, we're going to go off piste. Right, so you've got your half inch and we'll go an inch in here and an inch in there. We'll make a line and that will give us our, it will just give us a, let's see under there. It will give us a, a guide, like that will do, look. Just a line along there, about an inch. And then turn it round, and then we'll do a line along there. See, and I'm using the grid on the ruler. Maybe it hasn't got any groovy grip on it. Right, that'll do. Okay, so I've got I've got my edging, 
right? If I was using a centimeter ruler for all our metric friends, it would be about three centimeters. See, just under three, cent yeah, three centimeters will do. Yours will be a little bit smaller. Two and a half, three centimeters. Right, there you go. So you've got your edge there and you've got your edge there. Now, what we're going to do, it's all right because you've got a couple of opportunities here and don't press too hard and let me do it first and then you do it. Let me do it both things. Right, don't, don't, well, you, well have you got your, I'm going to stand up for this one because I get, I tell you what, the reason I'm standing up is because I get more free, I get more movement with my arm. So I'm just going to air draw it first. Right, I'll show you. Right, so this is where I start here. I'm going to start up here and I'm going to come down and I'm going to go like that and I'm going to go like that and I'm going to go like that and I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Right, and I'm going to start up here. I'll give myself a point to start and I'll end down here. Mm, let me think. That'll do. Right, so about there, right? So you give yourself a little bit at the top and you give yourself a little bit at the bottom and the whole thing's, what, four inches? Don't get over complicated on the measurements because you'll it would cripple you. Four, four and a half inches, that'll do. Right, so we'll start up there and then we're going to come down. Let me just air draw it. One, one, two, three. Right, that'll do. Right. Oh, I shouldn't have put cream on my hands, really. Do you know, it's always the same. When I'm on my own, I could do this till the cows come home. As soon as I've got a couple of hundred people watching, I go to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready? Okay. <sighs> tip, top, top tip. Don't put cream on your hands before you start drawing. Right, okay, here we go. Start up there, and we're going to go down like that. Right, here we go. Try and stay within the line. One, two, three. I do another one just for good measure, just in case. There you go. You might want to write more. Right, you ready? Then, when you've done that, one, two, three, you might rub that one out, doesn't matter, just to show you how it works. Then what you're going to do is go back in the middle and you're going to go right down the middle of the whole thing. Right, ready? So we start up here again and then we're going to go like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay, good enough. Okay, you got that? Right, you do that now. You do that. I'll do another one. Just cause. While we're waiting for you to catch me up. Yeah? Another line, just to give me an orientation. It just means that I, it gives me a, a, a line to draw towards. All right, come on, one more time. Start again, and then pick your best one. Cause you got two halves, haven't you? Okay, off we go again. Right, no one's watching, Barb. You're on your own. Off you go. Okay. Bit tight. Cause loads there. That's a right, that's a wedding invitation there. Right, I'm going to stick to the simple one. Okay. Right, you got it. So you got your writing on there. Now let's have a look. Okay, step two, do this. Go like that, in there, like that. Do that, and then join those two up. So well, you've, you've gone, you're coming down there like that, and down there like that. Now take your rubber, your eraser. Can you see this all right? Shall I come in a bit closer? Okay. Right, there you go, you should be able to see that. So now I've done that, now come through here and rub that one out and that one out. Okay. Right, that's that one. Now, this one, these two, join them two together. This is it here. So now take this, use your pink rubber and now take that out and this out. Oh no, not that one. <sighs> Put that one back in. Right, take that one out. Take everything out that's on the banner at the front. There we go, look. Take that out and take that out. Where's the 
brush. That'll do. Right, so you see you go like that, and then like that's around the back, and then you come around that one. So this one needs this one going. There, optical illusion, perfecto. So you've got that one, that one, and now the third one. So we'll do that one and that one. So that joins up. So let's do this one. Oh, pink rubber grey. Take that out and this out, all down the middle. There you go. See? And then if you wanted to make now, now you've got your optical illusion. If you wanted to do another one, you know, you just go like that, don't you? And do a set of fourth one if you like. Depends what you want to say. Yeah? You could say, uh, happy birthday, dear Mary, right? For example. And then this one, obviously this one's got to come up because it didn't fit, did it? We didn't do that one. So you've got to go, hang on. Like that. Where do I die? Like that. Like that. And then the other one was like, like that, like that, like that, like that. So this one, yeah, it's only because I've knocked it out. Right, that's it. Okay. So you've got as many frames as you like. Yeah. And then you can thin them out or do what you like. So let's, let's make it a little bit more. I think that one's a bit fat, this one. See, so now you can change it so that you like it. That one there needs to be taken out. There. There. So you've got a scroll, haven't you? Do you see? There. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Have you got that? Have you? How did yours come? I'm gonna, I want just three. So you need to practice it a couple of times. I'm happy to practice it again. What do you think? Do you want to have another go? Just open this up. I'm going to use the other side. And I just want to... Come on. I'm going to do one that's a little bit more delicate than that. That was a bit... That was just giving you the, the flourish. And now let's go again. You've got two halves. Let's go again. Right, and this time, think a bit more delicate. Right, so here we go again. Start at the top. And then we're going to go one, two, three. I think that's probably plenty. And then we're going to go one, two, three. Right, and then we're going to bring that in and close that up and rub out. See how quickly you can do it when you get going. Right, one. Then we're going to close this one up, bring it round and close that one up. So then this is going to go, this is going to go, and this is going to go, and that's going to go. So now that's at the front. See? So this one's around the back and this one's around the front. Right, there we are. So then this one comes around here. It's quite straightforward. And then this one, we've got to join this one up. So that one comes to there, like that. That one comes to there. In fact, happy birthday. This one, I'm going to knock it off here. This is where I want to stop. You see? So then this one comes around like that. There we are. I'm going heavier so you can see what's the top and what's the bottom, you see? And then we'll rub out the what's on the front, like that. Okay. And then this one, we didn't even bother with. So we can knock that out all together. What you need to remember is, this is our... our scrap. This is, what, this is our... Our rough draft, isn't it? This is where we make the... Now it's looking good. Right, so we've got a bit of a turn like that. Okay, and that's all I want. Because then in here, right, in here, we're going to write something. Okay, have you got your banner now? Now, the, now we need to go around the back. So the back's here like that. 
isn't it? You drew it all, so it's going to be exactly as it should be. There we go. Like so. Happy with that? That looks a bit weird there, doesn't it? So let's just tart it up a bit now. Let's get it right. Because now we're going to draw some flowers into it. Right, ready? So I want to bring this up a little bit and bring it down a bit more like that. That's better. Right. Okay, that's good. And that one's like that. You can always put a bit more of a curve on it. Now's the time to do it. Okay, happy with that. Now, now, let me show you where we're going. I just wanted you, what I wanted to do was make sure that you know how to do this without copying, like without a visual, just this is, once you get it in your head, that sweep. So the bottom line is that what you're doing is you're doing one, two, three, and then you're going in between and exactly where you were, you're doing the other three. So you end up with one lot of three and then you go in between to the half and then you start joining them all up you see like that that's it and then you just got to knock out the bits that count so if we if we take this one what we'll do now is we'll sort out the back so the back let's do the shadow at the back and what we can do is make lines this let's establish the back so we'll do this and we'll make lines. That always looks really nice. This will look lovely when it's penned, like that, and then in there as well. Okay, same here. Okay. And then here too. So we'll start in the middle and we'll make the lines. This is the back of the, the banner, if you like. Okay, here we are. There we go. That'll do. That'd be nice. Right, now we want to start making flowers. So let's start, let's just start by making some flowers and we'll, we'll start building up. Look, let's just make a, a couple of, this is like an old comfortable pair of shoes for us. We're good at this stuff, right? Just got to decide what sort of flowers you're going to use. That's a good one. And then I think I'll bring that round the back here. There we are. Okay, so you know that it's round the back. And then let's do, let's do uh, like a tulip one like that. This is an easy one to do. And then we can do our dots on the top, that will help. And then we can, we can bring our flower down like that and maybe one big leaf, yeah? And then we can do our Mary Quant. Do you remember our Mary Quant flowers that we did right in the beginning? Now, this is where it gets interesting because you can come in over the top of your wreath, of your, not wreath, um, banner, right? So bring that in like so. Okay, that's cool. Now, let's have a look what else we got. We've got another, put another flower in here. Let's do one of these, like a one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have to be too exact. That's nice enough. Right, so we're going to put some flowers in. It won't take long. And it's up to you whether you bring the flower to the front of the banner or you you choose. You choose. Okay. I'm going to put another flower. You run flowers all the way through here. I like those two, these ones. I like those. Let's do another one of those. There we go. Middle bit. That's quite nice, isn't it? And then uh, what else we got? We've got little tiny flowers. You can make little button flowers like this. You know we did, we're good at those. Can we just put a leaf in? And uh, maybe this one, I could bring another little stalk down like that. Now, if you wanted to, oh, we could do another. You making flowers? What other flowers? What about these, these ones that are like, um, Got stick, stalky things. You see them around a lot with dots on. They're quite good for fillers. Like that. That's quite a good filler, that one. So you do a little tiny one of them. Hmm? Like that. Yeah. 
uh, what else we got? Steps back, has a look. Could do another one. We could do a couple of these ones here. This is quite nice to do this. There you go. It's like a, a lily. And then we'll do another one of these. Right, and then if you're going over the top, just go over the top. You could rub out the other afterwards. See? It's all about front and back, isn't it? There you go. That looks quite cool. Like that. What do you think? Do a little heart. Little heart. Lovey dovey. There we go. Uh, stalks. What else could we put? I'm going to put another big one of those those ones. These are quite nice. That's it. Button. Button. Behind. Yeah. Leaves are always good. Let me put some leaves in. It's up to you. You see, you go all the way along here. And then at the bottom, let's do a couple of nice ones at the bottom. There we go. So sort of a That's quite a nice one. I might make that a bit bigger and come over the top. That's it. Yeah, that's a good one. Comes in over the top of the... Got it? Make a big, make a leafy thing, make a little branch. just about decorating isn't it hmm how are you enjoying this do you like this I think this is looks lovely right here we go it's really handy to do this you can make lots of lovely birthday cards with this doodle couldn't you little heart another one here in the background do you remember when we when we first got together in the shack, and this was this was really all we did, wasn't it? Flowers. That'll do. I'm going to come out over the top of this. See, right. That's quite good. Quite like that. So you've got to decide where else you want to put flowers. So you've got flowers up there, you've got flowers down there. I think a flower here would be quite good. This this area here, that'd be quite nice to put a big, maybe a great big flower there. Hey? Just a big one, right over the end. That'll do. Get rid of the... See, that's the thing about working on tracing paper. You know, it's no, you just, you decide what you want. I mean, that's the thing about the shack, isn't it? Trying to diffuse the pressure, not create pressure. So this is where we, we work out what we want and what we don't want. So that's quite nice. We could put another one of those little ones in there like that, can't we? Quite like that. Yeah, I think we need a bit more around here. This looks a bit ropey. How about uh, a leaf like there over the top? Hmm, a little spray. Hmm, that's quite good. A little spray. I think it needs something over here. Uh, maybe another big flower. Maybe, yeah. Let's do one of these. I like these sort of daisy ones. Everybody happy? You relaxing? That'll do. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do another stalk. Maybe another little leaf. Oh, I know what we haven't done. What would be quite easy. Yeah, they look really nice. What about sort of their hangers and they, they've got little, like, 
<laughs> what was that? A little light? Yeah, like little little husky things hanging off them. So you can bring them down like that, and they've got little make them hang rather than stand up. So you could bring this down. Just remember where your writing's going to be. This would be quite nice actually. Put an let's have a look. Maybe uh, in there, a little hanger. There we go. Nice. Don't need lots. That'll do. Cut the leaves. Cut the hearts. Okay, so we've got that now ish. Yeah? Once you've decided where all your flowers are, then we'll have a sip of tea. Okay. That looks good. Now, before we do anything else, we're going to put, sharpen that pencil, we're going to put a border around. Be nice. Right, so for example, now wherever the flowers have gone over the edge, you've got to be aware of that. So we're going to come round here and we're going to, th when you get to there, it's going to go in underneath like that. All right, that'll work. And then we'll come round here. All right, there you go. Nice. That's filling that up nicely, isn't it? And then we'll come round here as well. So again, same distance. Just give it a little border. It's a little colouring opportunity, isn't it? And it just thins out the border a bit. There we go. Round we go. If you can't do it in one sweep, then go back over it and come again. I just noticed I need to take my... Put it to the front. There. Round we go again to there. This will look lovely when it's done. And I think this bit, I don't like it. I'm going to get rid of that and forget because I, I cut it. I didn't, it, it didn't come like that. So I'm just going to go off the edge like that and forget this bit. That looks better. Yeah, much better. That looked like rubbish. Yeah. So, so we've done that. We've done that. How are you doing? Have you got your flowers all in, all lovely? <sighs> yeah, I remember doing this when I was a kid at school. This used to be exactly, there you go. And then in you go again, and then you add them all up and you make, oh, I used to drive myself potty with this. So you've got three, you could do more, couldn't you? Like I said, you could, you could do a whole wedding invitation. You can make it smaller, go wider. I mean, it's an obsession, trust me, it was for me. So have you got that much now with the flowers? See, we could do so many different flowers, couldn't we? But that will do for the moment. I like it. Yeah, okay, you get the picture. And then once you've done that, then we're going to write our words in there. So what do you want to say? You've got to decide what you're going to say before you write it. Uh, happy Mother's Day is a bit premature, isn't it? Happy birthday, and then think of a good friend. Happy Father's Day, but it's a bit flowery for a father. Mm. Happy anniversary, that'd be a good one. Happy, happy 25th anniversary, happy silver jubilee. There are so many different things you could write. I'm going to just put, happy's definitely on the top list. So it's going to be one of those ones where you, you air write it. Do you remember when we learnt before? So you write it and then you don't stop, just keep going. Do you remember? Get your eye in on that one. We've, we've done this before. I know when we did this. When we put the flowers, we put the flowers up that end. Do you remember? Happy, that was Mother's Day, I think. That one. So you're going to put happy, but you're going to write it in the curve. You're going to write it in the curve. All right, here we go. So, uh, let me air write it first. Yeah, that'll work. That's it. That's happy in. And then I'm going to write birthday. So let me just see how it fits. That'd be nice. B. 
birthday. Happy birthday. And then whoever that's going to. Happy birthday. Susan. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, there you go. Happy birthday, Susan. And then you can go back in when you're happy with the position. And then make sure that it's all spelt correctly. Hey, eh? What do you think? Do you like that? I love it. There, doesn't that look good? And then you've got little hearts. And yeah, I think this is going to be pretty. There we are. And that's your basic, that's your basic one, isn't it? I mean, mine's quite crunched together. I'll show you one I did earlier. That one's more open, see? So have a look at the difference and then you'll see. It's easy. Same thing, but look. Just goes to show, this one squished up more. This one, I opened it up more. Do you see? So it's a, it's just half an inch longer. Yeah, it's whatever, it's whatever rocks your boat. Square card, long card. You see? So they're nice, aren't they? So there you go. So now we've done that. Did you keep up with me? It's ever so simple once you get the the calligraphy thing going, isn't it? <sighs> Happy Monday. It's a good start to a Monday, that. So it's often the case, you know, couldn't find Camelot. Disaster. Well, not disaster, just inconvenient. Worked out a solution, an alternative. Found Camelot. Solution, perfect. And I think that often happens in life like that. You, um, something happens, it's really bad. And then actually, good comes of it. That's what I mean. So rather than go straight to disaster zone, think, mm, well, hang on a minute. I bet there's a solution in here somewhere. Yeah. So this was my solution to losing the tracing paper. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So, are we happy with that? I think so. Good. I wish I could hear what you have to say. Hey? I wish I could hear what you have to say. <sighs> so, if we've got this, then we could also transfer this, couldn't we? And if we transfer it, then of course, we need to put some, we need to turn it round and work on the back to give ourselves the graphite. This is for the benefit of those who are new to, to what, we, what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do now, because this is the wrong way round, isn't it? It will trace the wrong way round. So now what we're going to do, come on, let's do it. There's no graphite on this side. So I, I've got to go back over all this. To, um, to be able to transfer it, haven't I? I'm doing a lot of this at the moment with the lino cutting. Here we go. So that's going to be, see it comes out lovely, but the trouble is it's all on the wrong side. So how do you feel about doing this? Should we just finish it? Can we? What do you think about that? And then, and then when we've done this, this will be a lovely hour of doodling on a Monday morning. Yeah. And then project completion. I think that's a good, that's a good thing. Okay. And then, and then what we'll do is on Wednesday, let's finish this one now. And then on Wednesday, we'll get our teeth into uh, Camelot and we'll do, 
we'll do that marquee and we'll do those fluttering flags because by then we'll be really good at banners and things like that. How's that sound? I think that's the thing, isn't it? The, the Camelot, the jousting, the artwork, the tapestry that we're doing, it's just got loads and loads of, of lovely artwork, really. Just, it's a vehicle, isn't it? Well, this is a different one. This is really hanging over the edge. Right, okay. There we go. See, now this is where you can you can change it. If you're not keen on what you've done, you can change it, you see. Because what you, when you go back over, yeah, I get it. You can see where, where you've been on the back. What we're doing here, in effect, is we're trying to, to put Lee, um, graphite or lead on the back so that we can transfer it then to our proper um, artwork. What colour, here's a question then for you. Looking at our, our greeting, our flowing greeting here, what, um, surface do you think we should work on? I'm going to forget about the nipples on that, that looks really weird. Um, what surface do you think should we go on? <clears throat> you know it might look really nice on uh, like a craft card on manila or just on white but then you'd have to colour it all in. It would look lovely all coloured in though wouldn't it? Cool. What do you think? Thoughts, please? So while we're doing this, what's going on this week? Let's have a look. Well, this week we've got um, tomorrow, Paul's in the shack. Shack with you, doing groovy, groovy Tuesday, right? And then... Um, it's quiet week. Well, quiet week is a catch-up week. We're catching up. I'm planning ahead. Um, Wednesday, I'm in the shack with you. We're back in Camelot, provided that we finish this little number. But it's not a race, is it? Hmm? And then... Um, on Friday... On Friday, oh yeah, moment of clarity, result. Yeah, brilliant. The moment of clarity at three o'clock, that's me. Facebook Live at three o'clock. And we're doing a moment of clarity and we're using those new um, lino cut stamps. I'm gonna put them through their paces. So if you wanna craft along with me on Friday, there's still ample opportunity to order your stamps. And what else will we use? Well, bring your, definitely just bring your, um, your ink pads to the party. Just bring ink pads and white card to the party. Okay. And colouring pencils. Yeah. And we're going to put those beautiful Put those beautiful stamps. I love them. I think they're really something else. I'll show you them in a minute when I've done this. Um, we'll put them through their paces. So many lovely things to do with them. Yeah, and if I, when I get my head around it, if there's something really specific we're going to do, because we usually have two sessions, don't we? So we're, we'll, we'll, we'll launch them on Friday at three o'clock. And we'll do a, we'll do some warm up exercises. Just get them seasoned and get used to the designs and all the different possibilities. And then we'll get together again a couple of Wednesdays time in the evening because I think that works really well, don't you? Then we can get together in the evening 
and we'll um yeah and we'll have another run at them so two opportunities to have a live craft along with a bunch of mates sounds pretty good to me i enjoy those sessions i am um, i really like having I, I particularly like the evening one for some reason strange isn't it how are you doing are you transferring your pencil work yeah so there we go it's relaxing that's for sure i oh, know it's repetitive but hey ho so most things in life there we go i think a lot of the the re repetition is where we get uh, where we get our focus and we can relax. It's not stressful. This isn't stressful because you've already drawn it. You know, if you're going to get, if you get, I'm going to miss off the little nipple things that I put. I don't like that. Um, once you've drawn it once, then this is just a question of repeating, isn't it? But you still got to keep your eye on the ball. You can't. You can't. Um, you can't take your focus away. So you've still got the focus, which is great as a mindful exercise, right? Because you're still looking at what you're doing very carefully. In fact, this is your chance to improve it. So you're looking at what you're doing and you're improving your art, but at the same token, it's there's no. Uh, not creative, is it? Like it was when we were actually drawing it. Then you're really in the in the frame, aren't you? You really look, don't forget to go around the outside. There. So let's have a look. I think I've got it all. I won't worry about transferring the lines. I can do that, and I won't worry about doing the the words because obviously they're around the wrong way so that would be let's have a think do I need to do the words or do I just draw them in again I like I like what I've done so I will do the words yeah I like I like what I've done so cool I'm having, having to do this backwards happy not so good right birthday okay there we are have we decided yet Katie um, have we decided yet what we're going to transfer this onto I think I'm going to go with a white card I think that would look lovely just white yeah Okay, I've done that bit. How about you? I might go for a sharper pencil now, because this HB has got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of lead. Try not to spit at your artwork, right? Um, but I think I'll get a sharper line if I use a hard pencil. H is good because all I'm doing now is transferring, isn't it? I'm transferring this to a piece of card. What card have you got? I think I'm going to use. What I've got to hand just a stencil card because yeah that'll be lovely just to get a clean bit have you got a bit of stencil card to transfer to have you well while you're looking for your stencil card see I think that will fit on there nicely let's have a look what am I doing now okay so looking at my artwork see that will sit on there nicely and then we can cut it out and yeah when we ink that up that will look beautiful I mean, cut it out and then mount it, can't we? Yeah, cool. I'll make a card maker out of you yet, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> oh, neck, stretch. Nice, isn't it? Right. God, I've made a few of these in my time, I can tell you. <laughs> right, come on then. 
Banner Heaven. I want to show you those stamps on Friday. These are the stamps. Let me just move my creation out of the way for a minute. These are the stamps we're going to do in the craft along. Well, in the moment of clarity that's evolved into a craft along because you all wanted to craft along. And so now that's what we're doing. So these are the three lino cut stamps that I've, that they're really, really nice. So this one's called, let me have a look. This is wildflowers. This one's the daisies. You've got positive and negative and all the different assets. And then this one's midnight rose. This is particularly cool. And I've got some lovely artwork to show off. Look, this is some of the artwork that Dee, Dee's prepared. Nice designer paper. Oh, when you come on Friday, yeah, bring a couple of books of designer paper. I'm sure you've got some. Um, what shall I go to? If I said I was going to go to Waimea Falls and Toscana, will that help? Yeah? I'll stick to Waimea Falls and Toscana. But, I mean, any of these designer papers work. Okay, this is nice. On a bit of, on a book. This is using that stuff, the alcohol lift ink. That's nice on Upo paper. And I like that one. That's uh, that's doing the oh we could do that, I couldn't call that be a mess. Shaving foam. <laughs> could have a go at the shaving foam. We wanted to make a hurly mess. We could try the shaving foam trick on the Wednesday night, but on Friday we we won't, right? Because you know no one. Elbows in shaving foam. But if you if you fancy having a go at the shaving foam, we could always do it together if you fancy that. See, these are pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So this is using both of the stamps together. You see, that's why you've got a positive and a negative. And what's lovely here is it's using the um the little moon, see, as a background. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. See that one? It's that one. Yeah. So Dee's used that as the background as a, to highlight the little bee that's in there. And that's superb. I love it. I love it. And then this one is white embossed. Hip, hip, hooray, it's your birthday. Nice. And the other thing is, of course, we, we've got these triptychs going as well, haven't we? So this is pretty cool, right? So, so this is a triptych. Right, stamped, and then you go that. Uh, how cool is that? Okay. Um, so they're available. They're available, let me show you, like that. But they're, this is a really, let me pan out a little bit. This is a really good price. I'm, I'm blown away by this because you get these bits. Then you get, you, I can't, I think I've put them to one side safely, right? But then you see, so you can stamp on these bits, you can raise them up, but you also get the outer frame, these little pieces as well. So we're, we're going for the, this is definitely what we're going to make, is a really lovely triple mount um, piece of artwork. Um, Paul, if you could put the link up for that, because this is going to be so nice. There's also an additional piece, which I haven't got handy here, but it makes such a difference. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is, as, as always, um, Lisa's been making postcards for you. So when you, when you get these in the post, and we'll do our level best to get them to you for Friday, you're also getting these wonderful postcards. So we're sending out postcards as a random act of kindness. And they're nice as well. They're lovely. Well done, Lisa. I love that one. Keep growing, keep going. Ain't that the truth? Isn't that lovely? Look. See, that's a really nice piece of artwork. I think we're going to have to make those words. Keep growing, keep going. Love it. There you go. So that's what we're doing on Friday at 3 o'clock. Clarity Live. If you order them now, Paul will give you the link, then um, we're going to have two, two stamping sessions to do with that. This seat keeps going down. <laughs> right. Okay. Are you ready? So that's Friday at 3. There you go. And relax. Good. Do you know, this is hour 206, 206 hours we've been doodling together. No wonder we're getting good at it. Hey, happy birthday. I like this one. 
So now what we've got to do, I know that a lot of you will be very familiar with all this, but some of you won't. And so what we'll do now is we'll take a piece of masking tape. You've got some masking tape. Let's take that off there so I can see what I'm doing. You've got to, you've got to kind of position it. So I'm going to put it bang in the middle like that. So I've got cut out ability, if you see what I mean. Yeah. And then I'll just tape it down where I want to see it. You can always trim it if it's a bit wonky, but best to get it straight to start with, really. Right, now I've got my I've got my art ready to go. And I can I'd like to be able to have a little peep, but I'm gonna just I'll have a little peep. Right, H. I'm going for the H hard. Let me see if it works right. Can you see what I'm doing? So this is going to get, let's lean on something. Let's lean on this. Lean on me so that we don't get covered. Because the other thing is now you've got to concentrate because you don't know what you've done and what you haven't done, which is why really this is, this is a pain in the neck. But I'm going to take that off because I need to be able to flick and see like that. So I can see what I've done and what I haven't done. So talking and doing this, guaranteed. As long as I've got um, a hinge here so that when it goes back down, it goes back in the same place, it's easy. Start at the top and let's work our way down, okay? And if we run out of time, well, do you know what? We run out of time. That will give you something to do between now and... I, I, I look forward to seeing these. Now, let's have a look if this is working. Let's make sure it's working before we carry on. Oh, yeah, perfect. You see? So this is going to give us a really good guideline now. There we are. You know, I've been getting into the lino cutting. Well, that's, that's why we've got that artwork. That's my old lino cuts, my, my first ones. I don't think I did this one. I've got a feeling. Um, no, I did. And um, and so this is exactly how you transfer a drawing to the to the liner before you cut it. So I was doing a lot of this yesterday. This transfer. I find it very relaxing. Very very relaxing. It's, um, and you take your time doing it as well, you know. There we go. And if you miss a bit, see, I missed the, th it doesn't matter. You draw it in afterwards. It's, it's not, you're going to get the, the bulk of what your design is, aren't you? If you missed a couple of bits, it's not the end of the world. I think we might have missed this flower altogether, though. Have a look. Yeah, that flower's missing. <laughs> Have a look. That's okay though. And so you're going to work your way around, and everything at the front, in true stamping style, of course, you do whatever's at the front first, don't you? If you've missed a bit, I think I've got a feeling I've missed that whole area. See if I've got this one in. Doesn't matter. It's not a race. I think if there's one thing that we've figured out in the shack, it's that we take our time. Nobody's judging your artwork. I've had a real funny old phase recently, and I don't know. I think I'm not alone, though. I suddenly feel like inadequate and useless. Do you, do you know what I mean? I don't know where it's come from. But all of a sudden, I feel this, I think it's because there's so much going on. And um, things are changing and shifting. And, and then I think, have I lost it? I don't know. I think that's when we have to huddle together a little bit and just support each other a bit, hey? I know I'm not alone. I know I'm not. I know that there are plenty of people that are thinking the same, f feeling the same. I think it's because change is coming again. 
And so we're we're having to readapt, aren't we? And readjust. Is readapt even a word? There you see. And so what we're doing now, we're transferring our art, a banner, a birthday banner. Have a look. It's going to look lovely. Hmm? So what's the time? Oh, it can't be already. See, I could keep going for hours doing this. And it started raining again. Oh, goody. It's good for the garden. There's a cat out. <laughs> one's in, one's out. Hmm. Right, my friends. Well, I better go and find that cat before it gets absolutely drenched. So what you're going to do then, if you have time and you have the inclination, is you're going to make a birthday banner or transfer your core. Can you hear that? Listen. There you go. I really better go and find that little cat. Ragnar's out. Eric's in. Oh, I'm going to get soaked. Well, on that happy wet note, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, tomorrow, a moment of, uh, no, it's a uh, groovy Tuesday. Wednesday, we're back on, on uh, Camelot and maybe we can show our work. See what you come up with. We're going to ink it, maybe color it in. Maybe what we could do is go back to Camelot sort out the, the marquee so they don't get wet and then um, and then come back to colour this in. That would be a lovely little thing to do together. I've got to go. That cat's going to be like that. <laughs> I bet he's out there now. Paul, thanks for your help. I can hear him. He's outside the door. Lots of love. Be safe. Stay dry. Bye-bye now. Bye. It's all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, you're so wet. Ragnar! 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 Come on! Where are you? Oh! Drowned rat! Oh dear. <laughs>